So guys, one of the economic barometers that I'm always looking at and analysts are always considering to use to determine the state of our country's financial health is the use of, of credit. And when American consumers are able to get access to the credit that they need without having their credit card applications rejected and when credit card holders don't default on their obligations to repay their debt, things are good. But a telltale sign of impending trouble within the economy is when consumers begin to mismanage their credit by missing payments, over borrowing, getting into hot water with those same creditors. And recently it was released that consumer surveys are indicating that this might be happening right now. In today's episode, I'm gonna help make sense of what this could mean for you. So make sure you stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the VIP Financial Ed channel. Matthew Pillmore here, I'm your cash flow coach. I'm here to help you go further, faster financially. And guys, we're looking for the signs of changes to come. That's right, I'm talking about it again, the upcoming potential financial downturn, something that has been on the horizon now for the past couple of years, and it may be right around the corner. In a recent video, I talked about nearly $9 trillion worth of corporate debt that is pointing to an upcoming potential downturn and quite possibly a recession. If you haven't watched that video yet, make sure you check it out. I'll include a link in the description for you below. For today's episode, I'm gonna start beyond the signs within corporate debt, and I'm gonna look into something that's a little bit closer to home, your personal credit cards. The Federal Reserve Bank, they just released its findings from the October 2018 Credit Access Survey, which is the US government's finger on the pulse, you could call it, of the American consumer credit situation. It's something that the Fed has been doing for uh, since 2013, about every four months. And the results of this survey don't paint a very pretty picture right now as they reveal a jump in the rate of rejected credit card applications, as well as an increase in the amount of lender-initiated credit card closings. And what this tells us is that more Americans aren't able to access the credit that they need and of the credit accounts Americans do have, more of them are actually being voluntarily closed by the lenders themselves. We talk a lot about debt weapons being closed without the request of the consumer. This is more and more likely as the economy shifts, so we're starting to see that. And this lender-initiated account closing statistic, it's especially concerning. It's the highest that we've seen since the credit access survey began in 2013. The recent October survey revealed that there was a whopping 7.2% of respondents that reported a recent account closure, and it was initiated by the lender. That was not requested. Those borrowers under the age of 60 or with credit scores lower than 680 were hit especially hard with a sudden account closure. And this could be an indication that the credit issuers are lacking the confidence that those they lend to are going to be able to repay the debts that they're giving access to. And this is the writing on the wall that we've been expecting. It's foreshadowing a dark economic time to come. And it, it should be something that we prepare for as an upcoming financial slump. Even the Fed itself proclaims that the recent survey findings are potentially concerning, which is actually a pretty strong language when you consider the source. Generally speaking, the federal government isn't prone to crying wolf. So at the very least, we need to be sitting up, taking notice of what's going on here, and taking measures to protect ourselves if rough economic times really are in store. Now, some analysts like those at businessinsider.com, they're seeing this credit market retraction as a potential confirmation that lenders have been giving away credit way too easily in recent years. Yes, the housing market for the most part made a lot of corrections from the last downturn, but by and large, the other debt weapons that we lean towards are have still been relatively easy to get for the past few years. And What's happening now is simply a needed correction, according to some. Then again, it could also be a sign that commercial banks are really bracing themselves for an upcoming market turbulence. They're taking preemptive steps, you could say, to reduce their risks. Put yourself in the bank's shoes for a minute. I mean, if you were in charge of running a bank that issued consumer credit cards, for example, and if you started seeing signs of a potential market downturn, one of the first things that you're gonna do is ratchet up the qualifications that are required for new credit accounts to be approved. And you probably also start weeding out the slow payers and the no payers by closing their accounts and preventing access, something that most banks have the power to do at their discretion and choose to do. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, I thought the economy was doing great. Unemployment is at 3.7% after all, and interest rates are still historically low. If we had the interest rates that we're seeing today, 15 years ago, 
we would have been doing backflips. Here's the thing. The unemployment rate and the federal interest rates are indicators of how things are now. They're not very good, accurate predictors of what might be to come. And that's what analysts lean so heavily on. They're looking at the actions and the decisions of the, of the big banks because it's those actions and those decisions that are often made in anticipation of trying economic times. So those are really great sources of trying to predict what's gonna come in the future. And that's why it's easy for us to keep our fingers on the pulse because we're always out applying for new types of credit. Now, what could be compounding the problem here for lenders is the fact that most banks are already facing a less than ideal outlook as we enter into 2019. The US market is already highly saturated with consumer credit accounts. And there's a troubling trend right now of diminishing returns on the debt-based assets that many banks rely on in order to maintain profitability. Right now, there are uh, about 470 million active credit card accounts in the United States. And the possibility of more and more of those going into delinquency gives the banks all the reason they need to tighten their purse strings and start preparing for the worst. This indicator of things to come is, in my opinion, an excellent opportunity for you to make sure that your credit is in order. Make sure that your capital accounts are in order. How are things looking for you? Are you overextended credit-wise? Are you only making the minimum payments required in order to keep your account in good standing? What about your debt to income ratios? Are they healthy? Are you keeping it below the recommended maximum of 30%? This is what FICO suggests we keep our current utilization ratios at or below. Are you currently using old accounts that haven't been used in a while so that you can show activity and inspire the bank to continue to keep it open for you or do you need to start doing that now? We do recommend that you use your credit accounts once every three to six months for purchases you have already planned on making, things like groceries or gasoline and then paying them in full before they are due. That way, it shows the bank that you have an intention of using the credit, but that you're also responsible in managing it. And we talk about credit a lot here on this channel. So if you're new, make sure you check out some of the playlists that we have on credit. I'll make sure to include links in the description on those as well. In those videos, we discuss various credit tricks and tips to help you improve your situation with credit, including your debt to income ratios, your utilization ratios, hiding credit from your report, and putting it onto things like business accounts so that you can move towards financial freedom. At VIP, we're all about freedom. This is all about lifestyle design and doing what you want, when you want, where you want, for however long you want. And I wanna give you the freedom to design the lifestyle of your dreams. And with this upcoming downturn on the horizon, it's all the more important that you get your finances in order. And if you'd like to have a coach alongside you, that's what we're here to do. We're here to help you towards your goals. We're here to help show you things that you may not have seen before. We're here to help you implement that stuff correctly, not uh, recklessly and, and without certainty. So make sure you head over and claim your free coaching session at freecoachingcalendar.com. Uh, you can reserve one complimentary coaching session as long as you have at least $500 worth of starting cash flow. I can mathematically be of tremendous value to you. And we'll do that at no charge. We don't ask for anything in return. Please be aware that we do have a long waiting list for those free coaching sessions. So if you just wanna get started immediately, make sure you check out the quick start options in the same website, freecoachingcalendar.com, because you may just choose to do things differently now. And that's what I would recommend. Take this stuff seriously, folks. But guys, on that note, um, I'm looking forward to diving in. I'm gonna do everything I can to rearrange my schedule, even if it is in sec September or October, to offer that complimentary coaching session with you myself personally. Um, I'm very curious to know though, do you have a special strategy that you're using to prepare yourself for the times of un uh, uncertainty economically? I mean, what's working best for you right now? Go ahead and comment below. Let us all know we're in this together, guys. It's us versus the system. It's us versus the banks. We don't have much choice. We gotta to stick together. We gotta to join arms and we've gotta do this um, this thing together if we stand a fighting chance because according to most of the people that are speculating that next downturn is gonna be an ugly one. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you wanna remain eligible for all of our contests. We love giving away money. We love giving away other prizes. We want you guys to stay tuned and have the best year you've ever had. We look forward to seeing you on the next video. Until then, make it a great day today and take care.